Okay, since I'm so behind, I'm just going to do this uh, these movies as an audio review. Um, so, yeah. Just so that way we can try to get through these faster. So, Saw 3. This Halloween, he's pulling out all the stops. I want to play yet another game. It's time for my review of Saw 3. Let the review begin. Okay. So, uh, positives. Um, wait. I, I almost forgot about the plot again. Okay, so uh, Jeff uh, is a guy in, in Jigsaw's latest game. Um, it's all uh, based around him forgiving these people who were involved uh, in his son's accidental murder. His son was hit by uh, someone in his uh, in his car. Um, uh, so basically, Jeff has to forgive uh, the uh, the woman who was the witness, uh, the guy who was the judge, and the other guy who actually hit his son in his car. Um, and, uh, of course, uh, he, he fucks it up because <laughs> he doesn't know what the hell forgiveness is. I personally have a whole concept of uh, my views of uh, forgiveness, but I won't say them here because we'd be here all fucking day. But I will say that um, I like how this character is developed. Um, you can sympathize with him, but at the same time, you just realize he's a fucking idiot for not at least trying to give these people a second chance and not... Um, allowing himself to have a, a second chance to move on from everything um and his daughter is uh, kidnapped we never really see her again other than a post credit scene in another film in the series but other than that she's just gone um so uh with uh, his his wife yeah uh, his wife is uh kidnapped by Jigsaw and Amanda to um uh, to try and uh do surgery on uh, on Jigsaw, um, and if it doesn't work, um, if Jigsaw dies, uh, she'll die. I thought that was really, really clever, but almost unnecessary. Um, we also get some nice development for Amanda and how she does not uh, allow people to leave the traps anymore. She just keeps them there to die. Um, even if there's a way out, um, they're still fucked. So yeah, she's yeah, she's just a straight up murderer. And so this game, in a surprise twist, is actually uh, her game. Yep, this whole spiel uh, was uh, was her game. Um, of course, other than Jeff's, but yeah, Jeff finally kills off Jigsaw when he makes it to him. And that is revealed to have been the wrong choice. So yeah, um, so yeah, that's pretty much um, the whole story. Um, Tobin Bell does a great job again as Jigsaw, despite the fact that he's literally on his deathbed the entire time, kind of like how he was just sitting down the whole time in, uh, Saw 2, and how we didn't see him until literally the very, very last scene, like, with him actually moving, uh, in the, uh, original film. So, yeah, that's the plot of Saw 3. Um, so, uh positives i love the tone i love the atmosphere of this film the uh, emotion the uh, uh the emotional development of the characters um the uh relationship uh the partnership uh between jigsaw uh john kramer and uh amanda is developed even further um she's uh there are signs that she's uh jealous that um she doesn't want to disappoint jigsaw but at the same time she is Without realizing it, Jigsaw was aware that she was not exactly carrying on his legacy uh, properly. So, yeah. So, yeah. Um, I love how uh, this movie feels uh, more tense than usual. Um, I like uh, these scenarios that Jeff has to go through. Even though, yeah, he fucks them up and screws himself over. But you can at least see that he's trying uh, to let go. The key is also to let go of uh, the hatred and anger towards the man that killed his son, as well as uh, letting go of the loss itself so he can move on. And because he doesn't do that, um, by killing Jigsaw, he ends up getting locked in the room to die with his own guilt, anger, and, and rage. Yeah, he takes the immature route, in my opinion. But yeah... This movie helped me uh, come up with a new concept of uh, uh, for forgiving someone, but I won't say what it is here because, like I said, we'd be here all day. But it is really interesting, though. 
I'm working it into my Doki Doki Literature Club mod series. Um, if I had any negatives, um, the only one that I would really give out is that uh, we were introduced to Hoffman way too soon uh, in this movie. Um, and, uh, oh, uh, the one uh, female uh, detective cop lady uh, from Saw 2. She um, she comes back in this one, but she dies. I'm, I'm guessing they just didn't have anything else to do with her, so they just killed her off. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Yay, uh, I don't know. The rib cage trap. That was honestly the, the, the best one in the movie. But also the most unnecessary kill, in my opinion. We really didn't need to kill her off, but it's understandable we didn't really have anything to do with her. So, eh, just kill her. So, yeah. Also, I am well aware that this is not, uh, before anyone says, this is not the original theatrical uh, poster, but this is one of them. The official one is a black background with uh, John Kramer in his red hood. Um, and the title does not have the teeth. It actually has a Roman numeral three. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I really like this movie. Uh, it helped to uh, forward the series even more. This is definitely a good stopping point. Um, maybe they could have dragged the ending out just a little longer instead of just ending it right then and there uh, with the twist. Because, yeah, usually there's a twist and then boom, end of the movie. See you next year. I I like what this one did. Um, it's uh, It kind of sucks to see Amanda go, but at the same time, you, you know that she deserved it, obviously. But, yeah. Um, that's really all that I got for Saw 3. Um, I definitely like this one more than the first two. Uh, it's really inventive, a lot more uh, emotional value behind it. It's pretty good. Saw 3 gets a 5 out of 7. Yeah, this is only half uh, a grade lower than Saw 2, but that's that's because there's not really that much going on. It feels like the first one again because um, it's mostly in one location while uh, someone's just going through the game. It feels like the first two movies again, but not exactly as invigorating, but it's not anywhere near being bad. I, I like this one more than the first two because of its emotional value, the uh, emotional development between the, the, all the characters. It works really well. Anyway, next is uh, my review of Saw 4. And yeah, um, much like this one, the rest of the film reviews will be audio only just like this because I'm really pressed for time right now.